everybody who's walking, riding, jogging, picking up after their dog. Everybody's come out to feel the sun. And by the river I sit watching the sun slip behind the mountain. Yeah. Ah, you 
like the best thing that can happen to a songwriter, I think, if you write these kinds of songs. All right, here we go. <laughs>
And is Lindsay around somewhere? Where are you, girl? All right. Lindsay's going to come and sing on this next one. I think you can probably hear that. Is Jimmy still living in West Virginia? Huh? Does Jimmy still live where he is? Jimmy died about a year or so ago. And the thing that when, when they originally contacted me, they said I had gotten one thing wrong. They said Jimmy's not really not alone because there's a whole group of people trying to save Blair Mountain. Um, so I imagine they're still trying to do that. What happened to his property is another thing that I don't know about, you know. So I was really sad that I couldn't meet him, actually. I had kept thinking I would get my ass down to West Virginia and sing it to him in person. That would have been really cool. <laughs> okay, well, this is a, another story about a woman, about a bunch of women, grandmothers, most of them, in South Africa, who were organized by a woman named Becca M. Sanwezi, who actually, when I did a little more research on her, it turns out she was kind of a community organizer, but she got cancer and uh, she had an operation and went to a clinic for aftercare and the doctor told her that she needed to get fit and so she walks outside and she sees all of these older African women sitting around um, mostly overweight and she invited them to come uh, to this you know patch of land and and exercise with her but when they got there they saw boys playing soccer and they said, well, why don't we do that? And they did, and they started playing soccer. And uh, they have been playing soccer now for about 10 years. And uh, they call themselves Vakegula, Vakegula. Can you say Vakegula? Vakegula. It means grandmother in the Tsonga language. And I also use the word gogo, which means grandmother in Zulu. So you're, you're going to sing this with us, okay? So <laughs> anyway, um, let's see, there's a, a woman named Norma Kubele in the song who was 84 years old when she was playing. Uh, she actually died about a year or two ago, and I, uh, I found out that they read the lyrics to this song at her funeral. Here was another thing. I've been very fortunate somehow or other to get the songs that I write to the people I write them about. And, you know, it's very heartwarming. Anyway, I found out about this because um, I was singing the song in Massachusetts a couple of years ago and I was talking, telling the story. And, and when I said they played soccer, this woman in the back said, We played them! And you know, it turned out they had invited. Vakegula, Vakegula to uh, Massachusetts to play. So that was pretty cool. That's actually how I got the song down there. And what else? Well, we'll just do this song. This is our last song. Okay. I start this. Oh, no, wait a minute. I got to thank everybody here on the stage. <laughs> I'm sorry. They've been great, haven't they? Everybody that's performed. <laughs> and the sound people, and the tech people, and the hospitality. This is the best place to play that I know of in New York. I love playing here. I, I play here every May with the Brooklyn Women's Chorus. I direct this women's chorus. So come and look for the Brooklyn Women's Chorus. May 10th, we'll be here. <laughs>
Ready, stretch their legs, and step out on the ragged football path.